The Kenyan housing industry faces an annual shortfall of more than 200,000 units. Experts believe this shortage is likely to dog the real estate market for the foreseeable future due to a number of reasons, key among them being the high cost of houses. Rivi Housing Cooperative Society Limited seeks to change the narrative by offering affordable housing solutions to different market segments, among them the middle and low income earners. My name is Samuel Miner, Chairman of Rivi Housing Cooperative Society. This is a very fast growing organization with a membership of over 24,000, and the membership cuts across different political, social, and economic uh, status. Project ownership is very, very out of reach to most people, the majority. And indeed, if you draw a pyramid, you see that the need will be at the bottom of the pyramid. This is because in the lower segment, there are no opportunities. It is not as lucrative as the upper end. The other thing is the approach of construction in the whole industry right from the construction where you have to get a contractor a basic contractor will get a 30 percent markup there will be financing which is about 30 percent of the cost and the material the supply and all that by the time you buy that house if you include the financing aspect the cost of material the, the cost of uh, construction and the markup of the investor it means that you'll be buying that house at at least over 100 percent that is double the cost of the house at that time you are not able to afford that you go to the bank when you go to the bank again you get the second tire of of um, uh, interest so it will be double fi financing in, in the real sense of the word as an organization really we endeavor to mitigate on those challenges by first ensuring that we take advantage of economies of scale that is we buy in bulk when we buy in bulk we get discounts the other thing is the contract that we do we have our internal team of consultants professionals our architects our qs and other professionals quantity surveyors they work for really so we are able to bring down the cost of consultation and ensure quality. The other thing is bulk purchase of material and bulk, uh, of course, negotiation when you are engaging in this kind of endeavor. The other thing we also ensure to do is to mobilize resources and give our members a chance to be contributing step by step in phased installments. That is to mean, at any one time, there's, there's some, someone bringing something to the construction that even if I may not have the total amount, I don't even need to be financed. I can be paying uh, gradually. By the time the house is being completed over a period of time, say two years, you will have contributed gradually. And by the time we are completing it, you're also completing your payment because we don't need all this money at the same time. These things, among so many other things, supervision, prudent management of resources, helps us to deliver our product in a relatively affordable uh, rate. The fast-growing housing cooperative has successfully made property ownership a reality to thousands of Kenyans in the last five years of its existence. We really endeavor to give land and housing solution to her members and we do the, this by enabling our members to get opportunities where they'll be found tomorrow. This is the whole idea of going to where the ball will be, not where the ball is. In so doing, we look at the various economic indicators and pillars as enshrined in the Vision 2030, and we know what is coming through that initiative. We know where the roads will pass, we know where the development will be, and by going there before and using one of our slogan, buy and wait, don't wait and buy, we are able to precede development because development should find people, not people finding development. 
and the whole thinking of Urithi is to change the mindset of our members, change the mindset in the industry, and also help us understand, help our members understand that with land and housing, which are very, uh, you know, which are the mainstay in the real estate, you can take advantage of time because time is a, fact, a factor that you can sell by just waiting for that opportunity to happen. Buying it, buying and building houses will help you to get the opportunity of reaping the advantages of time. Started by a group of visionary entrepreneurs, Rithi Housing has grown from a small outfit to a giant housing cooperative in a span of five years. The founder's goal was to establish a business that will not only be a source of income during their retirement days, but also an inheritance for their children. It was to be modeled as a housing cooperative so as to give its members a chance of pooling resources in their bid to acquire decent and affordable shelter. As a start, the team purchased a three-acre piece of land at Gatwenyaga along the Thika Garissa Road at a cost of 3.6 million shillings. They raised a down payment of 360,000 shillings and subdivided the land into 30 plots each selling at 150,000 shillings. After operating for eight months, it opened its first office at Ruby House in Thika Town. What followed was a significant growth in membership numbers and projects. Rithi was registered by the government of Kenya as a housing cooperative in 2012 under the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Cooperatives. Its model has proved to be very successful. Today, Urithi stands out as a giant housing cooperative with offices in various parts of the country. Currently, it has a membership of 24,000. Kenya's Open Data Survey estimates that to date, more than 3 million people reside in Nairobi. Almost 60% of this population dwells in informal settlements. According to Rithi's housing's chairman, a cooperative model like Rithi's could play a part in bridging this gap. It is high time that most people think of middle and low income. This is because the housing shortage in our country is over 200,000 units per year. And we are able to do collectively all the uh, real estate investors are only able to do about 50,000 uh, 50, houses out of 200. So we have a shortfall of over 150. If you go to the market, you see that it is very easy to get houses over, one, over 10 million in the market, meaning the, the, the demand is not as high. But when you go to anything below 5 million, there are very few people who are willing to invest in that high-risk segment. A person targeting to get a house below 2 million or thereabout needs this kind of support. Reason for being in an, an organization like Uridi than coming together and bringing the literal efforts that each one of us can contribute and achieve a very major objective that you cannot achieve alone. With a key objective of settling people, Rithi Housing goes out of its way to scout for affordable land across the country. The cooperative then mobilizes members to develop the plots into residential property. This has taken us to very far flung areas like Malindi, where land is not only available but also cheap. When land is cheap and available, you are able to fit in so many people and you are able to give people opportunities by growing and paying affordably over a period of time. Uridi is also a hidden name for inheritance and what we try to do is to sen sensitize our parents on the importance of investing for their children. 
it is futuristic so that the opportunities we see today using the future eye we are we are able to make very very informed choices that will make a difference to our children to our children in future 15 years from now 20 years from now the decisions that the parents make can give an inheritance to their children and their lack of decision can also impact on their children what do i mean today what may seem to be very distant uh, in terms of proximity to where the parent is based may make a lot of sense to their children inheritance means having something that will impact on the ch uh, on the child and that is one thing we pride ourselves in and we try to connect today to tomorrow as as much as uh, we, we 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 see opportunities today sometimes the actions that we make may make a difference the former uh, us president theodore roosevelt said that where else we may not know what the future holds for our children we can at least prepare them for the future and that is the clarion call of uridi that we may not know what the future tomorrow holds for all of us, but being prepared, we will be able to surmount any challenges that may come on the way. And that is the dream of Uridi. Uridi has recorded significant growth over the years thanks to its mantra of keeping the promise. Granted, the industry has so many challenges, but that notwithstanding, we always ensure that whatever we promise our members, we deliver. One of the major problems that most people have is the issuance of uh, documents, like title deeds. But at Uridi, we try to engage our members consistently and make sure that we also engage with the right uh, offices to make sure that we dispense of the title deeds at the most earliest opportunity. Sometimes we, we may not meet the deadlines, but by the end of the day, we deliver based on the circumstances of a project in question. The other thing is our ability to engage with members one-on-one, -on -one, where we talk to them, call them, share our thinking, and when they come, they belong. When they come, they become a part of the process, so that they don't see us as them versus us, they see us as a part of the integral vision of the organization. Another thing is that we are peace setters in the real estate. I can say especially in the low and middle income segment of the economy. In real estate, we set the pace. For the simple reason, our products are both affordable and flexible in payment. We have consistently and feebly maintained that by providing uh, property in a way that our members are able to purchase affordably. We also make sure that the prices are competitive, not only competitive, but below what is in the market. Connecting people with property requires a wide footprint. Uridi has opened offices in different parts of the country to reach more people. The offices are located in Nairobi, Kajiado, Nakuru, Kiambu, Thika, Kilifi, Embu, Nyeri, and Osingishu counties. The organization also has diaspora agents in Dubai, US, and UK, while regionally it has members in Ethiopia, Tanzania, Rwanda, and South Sudan. Among its signature projects are Uridi Ona Room, the Nyumba Mia concept, and Uridi Panorama Gardens. The On A Room project comprises studio apartments targeting the youth, young families, and students who will prefer to own a room instead of renting. One of the debut projects that we initiated is Ona Room. This one targeted yeah, studio apartments focusing on universities and giving decent housing to the student population. The first project was in Juja, 
but we are hoping to roll out similar projects in various universities. This is very innovative because we call members together and they invest together, share the cost of construction and ensure that each member can own a portion of the whole. Under section ownership of property, you can get your documents and you can actually get a title deed for that one unit. It means if you cannot buy land and develop, you can come together as an organization and that, uh, do that uh, collectively. The Nyumba Mia concept is an expansion of the government vision of Nyumba Kumi. What we endeavor to do here is to bring people in a gated community and crave by sharing social amenities, reducing the cost of construction, ensuring there is standardization, security, ensuring that members can share various uh, basic uh, social infrastructure and also ensuring that you are your brother's keeper. Going back to the African setup of uh, good neighbor neighborhood, that is one of the most successful projects that we have tried. And we are rolling out these in various parts of the country. We've done that in Juja. We are, we are doing three projects in Juja, two projects in Vika, a project in Nakuru, and uh, a project in Mombasa, Rungai, among other places. Rithi has also diversified into the hospitality industry. Through the Hilltop Resort project it is currently undertaking in Nakuru. The project comprises 80 cottages that will be sold to members at a cost of 2.5 million shillings, while non-members will purchase the same at 3.5 million shillings. In 2015, the housing cooperative passed a proposal by members to form a back office savings and credit cooperative, BOSA. Uridhi Premier Sako was born to enable members mobilize savings which could in turn allow them to access loans to finance the acquisition of property, among other assets. We have also been honored to have started a Sako, a Uridhi Premier Sako, that supports our members to finance the projects that they undertake. What makes the housing cooperative stand out? aspect of Uridhi that makes it stand out among so many other things is that we keep our word, we deliver to our promises. And no matter how hard an assignment is, no matter how hard a project proves to be, we always endeavor to deliver on our promise. Uridhi's first come first serve model is unique in the market. Once a member invests in a property, it is allocated to him or her, and the necessary agreement with the organization is signed. Through passion, patience, and persistence, Uridhi is slowly but surely becoming a household name. It is through patience, persistence, and passion that Uridhi has become a household name. We hope, with God's help, that Uridhi will not only meet the needs in the region, but become a case study in the whole region of Africa and more importantly we do form a case study where people can see how things, ordinary things can be done in an extraordinary way. Every success has its own challenges. Uridhi's stellar performance over the years has had many challenges. One of these is that new members take time before they understand its model. Most people who are coming to the organization today do not take time to understand our mission. They do not take time to understand our model. What they do, they may see a growing organization and want to come and buy and live, but they don't understand where we are coming from. For example, as an organization, we don't sell houses or land. In fact, we are not a land buying company, contrary to what most people would think. Or we are a construction company that dispenses houses to uh, the clients. This is a cooperative society 
where people come together and do things collectively. But when a person comes with a mentality of a buyer, they lose, a po they, 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 they lose the point. For the simple reason, they might get disgruntled or disappointed. One, people working in a group will have to work together. And in a cooperative setup, for example, if you are buying a house in a gated community, you cannot complete some houses for those who have completed and you leave the rest. Everyone will have to wait for one another. Why? Because ours is socio-economic model. Our model is 90% social and 10% economic. Therefore, it means if a member comes with a mentality that I bought in cash, they will feel disenfranchised by the fact that they are delayed by the, 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 the slow workers. And that challenge is very, very key. The other thing is misunderstanding. In some counties, they don't understand our mission and they think uh, this is a big company coming to invest with a lot of money without understanding that we need to be supported to achieve this dream. When the expectations are very high, we are we are, we are made sometimes to suffer by paying hefty uh, fines or sometimes requirements in different parts of the country because people may mistake our mission to be uh, you know, uh, a construction company that has a lot of money without knowing that we don't have margins even to spend. The other thing is the fluctuation of prices of material prices by the time you are starting construction of a house or when you buy land by the time you are completing the construction the price will have doubled the other thing is that uh, with the the, the, the changing uh, of uh, the requirements in the country sometimes you may find that some new laws are introduced in the industry Many a times you find the laws governing certain counties may change from time to, uh, to, to time. Uh, the, the impact of that is that you are caught in the middle of the, all this confusion and you become a victim. Diversity in members again means diversity in needs and requirements and expectations. Of course that poses a problem when uh, members in a project may not be reading from the same script, but we always endeavor to bring them together, explain to them, and assure them that we must complete the journey together successfully. In a sector where many investors have lost their hard-earned money to unscrupulous traders, really stands out because of its exemplary business ethics. Most people fear to invest for the obvious reason of losing their money. But through what we call millionaire mindset, those who are in, in, invest, in any form of investment know that you cannot succeed in any investment without taking a risk. But again, not a blind risk. It, it is a risk that is calculated and based on the belief that whatever you are investing is the right place. It is looking at the foundation of the organization in which you are investing. It is true that the industry has been dogged by a lot of uh, bad things, people losing money, but it does not mean that because vehicles co cause accidents, you will not be traveling in our vehicles. In fact, even after the accident, you still need that vehicle to take you to the hospital. And even when you die, you still need that vehicle. But the industry will have to continue despite all these challenges. What we need to do is to come together and cushion ourselves from such risks by having very foolproof regulations in the industry. And as we read, I'm willing to bring all those in the industry together and form a very strong body that will ensure that we protect our members from any laws that can uh, come in. I'm also negotiating an insurance scheme with uh, some companies to ensure that we can have a product that will cater for any risk that is associated with uh, this kind of investment and that will ensure 
that when members invest, they will not fear that tomorrow they might lose their investment. And it will also regulate the behavior in the industry that the new entrants do not bring confusion and sometimes do things that will bring reproach to the industry. Ribi Housing has developed a three-year 2016-2018 strategic plan in line with its mission, vision and core values. We expect a lot of goodies uh, from Uribi. One thing that we are planning to have is uh, expanded growth. Uh, we are looking at a membership of over 50 to 60,000 members in the next two years. We are looking at having a presence in all the counties in the next three years. We are looking at creating job opportunities to over um, 500 to between 500 to 1,000 members in the next two years. We want to create opportunities to various people, especially the suppliers of our material, uh, changing the thinking in the industry. We are looking at having our insurance outfit. We are looking at having a factory, uh, like we've started the fish farming uh, program. We are looking at expanding the agribusiness in the industry and also becoming leaders in provision of affordable houses and become the obvious choice for most people who want to invest. We want to team up with the government to provide housing for the police and other civil servants that may require our services by bringing affordable house purchasing schemes that we shall negotiate with the right, gov uh, with the right um, people to ensure that we make a difference in the society. Urivi has just started. I'm hoping that in the next five years, Urivi will be a different story. It will be among the most recognized and respected outfits in our country. It all boils down to the saying that good things happens to those who work hard. Better things happen to those who are patient. And the best things happen to those who have passion.